Mike Metcalf, represented by Red Door Management. Come on, you lazy little buggers. Where do you think you are, Bucklands? Right, drop down there and give us 20. Oh, Billy, man. I know you get bashed up at school. But, you know, if you paid more attention in here, instead of seeing to your nana, nobody would hit you at school, would they? No buts, no buts. You're a disgrace to your father and to them gloves. And the fine traditions of this boxing hall. I'm off to the picket line. And you, sunshine, you can stay here and practice on your own. And you can see Mrs. Wilkinson gets these keys before you leave. I'll see you, Billy. Oh, Jerry, you can sort this mess out. No, Adam, I can't. What do you mean? Do you think you deserve this corporation? What? Do you think you can just take everything simply because your father wrote his wishes on a piece of paper? You don't deserve such power. Only I have the authority to run this company. I'm inheriting his legacy. My legacy! Your father was a liar and a thief. He stole my ideas and copied my theories and then claimed all the credit, kicked me out of any positions of power. He took everything. And what did I get? Nothing! You see, when I ordered Isaac to murder, I knew that even in death, he wouldn't hand over TMI to me. He would give it to you. One last insult. But not anymore. Just days from now, his legacy will be erased from time. And I will have what's always been rightfully mine. You won't get away with this. People will notice I'm missing. <laughs> and just how will they notice you are missing when you never existed at all? Once I'm in control of TMI, I'll be making a few changes. Isaac was always a brilliant scientist. But he lacked vision. And with this technology, I can alter the very fabric of time. I can make TMI into the superpower that it always should have been. Change history as I see fit. And no one will be able to stop me. Least of all you. It's my dream to play a judge one day. But I'm too young. Maybe one day, because theirs is the greatest profession of all. At exactly at the age, average age, when the commoner garden owned any man or woman in the street, is being forced out of pasture. A judge is well-groomed and galloping into his prime. The office worker, 50 or 60, he's getting confused. He thinks the in is the out-tray and costs the company a couple of hundred. Give him a clock, a roll of notes, get him pissed. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> 30 years for you, 20 years for you. And a six month suspended sentence for you, because she was obviously asking for it in that skirt. Six months for you, because in an open prison, because you used to work for Giddis. <laughs> they dictate, legislate, sentence, decree. They are sacred, like, like royalty. Oh, yes. I'd love to play that part one day. One day, I will. Silence in court! All rise! Oh, Your Honour, I think you've dropped something. Oh, is this your arse? Oh, thank you, young man. I need that to talk through. <laughs> <laughs>